out. Hey, we found the owner hall. Oh, Mr. Light got arrested again. Well, she put the name Mr. Light was in the CEO's office when the motor called. No way, Jose! I don't buy it! This time, Nick. Uh, uh, how about we get started looking into the KB security model? Head back to find birds for a little while, that's alright. So, but why? Okay, Nick, time to get going on this motor investigation. So what do we do now? Isn't it obvious? We should get out there and investigate the motor. Of course, we need to find out exactly where KB Security is located. Hey, why don't we go ask Mr. Light? She said no. Besides, I want to ask her some stuff about motorcycles. You don't think of getting one, are you? Not the same little Mario who used to be happy with my dinky little bike, Nicky boy. <sighs> Speaking of asking around, I've got a few questions of my own for Mr. Delight. Okay, well, let's make sure to go to the Tetsuit Center too! Must be relieved you got the sacred arm back, huh? You bet! There's something a little different about it. Don't at me. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, take a look at this. It clearly says I am on the on in the poster. The on we got back says army like it always used to. Oh yeah. You're right. Plus, the face has pink splotches on it now. I'm sure they weren't there before. I doesn't know, but one year ago, when the owner was broken, the actually turned Mystic Army's name into I Am. The girl was one mechanically unskilled little pause. But still, I can remember ever seeing pink splotches on it. Is it possible that one is a fake? So Paul's will find out about that once he gets back to Crying Village. Yeah, I suppose. And I think about it. I haven't been back to Crying Village in a long time. So, I guess people still go to Crying Village to do their training, right? Yep, if you want to become a spit medium, you need to undergo severe training. So I haven't you been training lately, Maya? I've been thinking of heading to a channeling dojo to do just that. Channeling dojo, huh? Sounds pretty serious, whatever that is. If you want to train, you have to be serious. Otherwise, your tragedies, tragedies can happen. Does that happen that video stop bothering you? Now, yeah, Mara and her village. Because the power of channeling was misused. Technique to temporarily loses her own wealth. That's why an especially strong spirit is summoned. This bit may be taken over and even forced to commit terrible crimes. But what's worse, in those cases, the spirit medium has no memory of what happened. Uh, it wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I suppose not, but. I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's all. The master party is going to be a heavy responsibility.
Oh, Nikki boy, Maya. Miss Delight. All I wanted to do was help my dear Wani. Yeah, but I guess it ended up hurting his case. Don't say that, Nick. She doesn't need your help beating herself up. Hey, Nikki boy, please, please help Wani. He's not a killer, I swear. My Wani wouldn't hurt a fly. All right, I'll poke around and see what I can find out. Really? Are you serious? Well, I'm so happy. And you're asking you for your help was the right thing to do. I, I don't know what I can do to help anymore. I had no idea Mr. Light had such a vulnerable side. Listen carefully, Nicky boy. I want he would never, ever kill anyone. It's just not in him. That hurts her mad at him just snapping and screaming, please die! You never say that! Anyway, Mr. Light, he may not be a killer. Still going to work like he's a thief. Oh, he told you that it's a fantasy for him. Mr. Light, I have to say, he has a little bit of a fantasy for him. What? Why do you say that to me, Nicky boy? Everything about my wand. We don't have any secrets between us. Wani is just eating cuts. He's so honest that he won't even sneak a nap. He's so honest that he won't even steal a glance. Thief! <laughs> the very idea! I guess I just don't get it. Huh? Get what? I can ask that how they can be so different and yet be such a happy couple. Yeah, they saw all different. Get 
cat you are there. Okay, let's head over there right away, Nick. Alright, so is it really love at first sight when you first met Mr. Delight? Well, maybe not at first sight, but when he saved my life. Saved your life? I was at work one day when two wobbles suddenly rushed in. Well, I'm not the kind to just crawl into a little ball in a corner, so I fought back. W wobbles? Yes, they took me hostage. I was so frightened. They were both carrying these huge knives and I broke down into tears. Yeah, I would too if I were in that situation. Oh, I think I get it. Did Mr. Delight come wanting to save you? Yes, exactly. I remember he looked so handsome with that dark uniform of his. He went right out to those two knife wearing wobbles and screamed in their faces. Stop it! He screamed. I can see the wobbler's face is so pale. By himself. He was so scared that he was crying and shaking, but he still risked his life for me. Wow, that's a great story. Yes, you may not look it, but in a tough situation, there's no one better. So I fell in love with him like I did. That's so romantic. I'd fall in love too, I guess. Nick, I hope you'll do the same for me if I ever get taken hostage. With Maya, the possibility always seems to move to the past of the future. I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The walls in here look thick. Just like you'd expect in a CEO's office. What has that got to do with anything? Hey! It's you guys! Oh, it's Detective Gumshoe! There was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? So it was, pal! The prosecutor made real fools out of us! Yeah, I feel for you. Wow, that's not like you at all. Oh, that was great! You guys, they are what you deserve, pal! <laughs> That's something to that effect. Do I really sound like that to you, pal? It's a gumshoe fits! Oh. Well, anyway. The point is, I can tell when someone puts their heart into their jobs. I can sympathize when things don't go your way. Sometimes, I feel like Ron is the only way things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gumption was such a nice guy. Now, this is a little off that's the door, but maybe we can start investigating. Detective Gumption, tell us what you know about the murder! Okay, but the thing is, I'm really not supposed to. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't stop crying on me, okay, pal? Okay, I won't cry on you, pal. The victim's name is Kane Bullard. He was the CEO of KB Security, a pretty big fella in his own right. His corpse was discovered at 9 o'clock this morning. His time of death was 1 o'clock in the morning on the October 12th. On the October 12th? Probably an object in this room. And at exactly the same time that Master Master was still in the yard. Huh. So why did it take almost an entire day to discover the body? The explanation for that one. Bullard's body was stashed away inside that safe. Safe? It is pretty big. 
<laughs> oh, that was great! That guy got what he deserved! <laughs> oh, that's the detective I know and love. Think about it. I think it was always the one when the calling card showed up. He always proceeded to disappear before the heist took place. I was tired at the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, right. It's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just know he was the thief. Yeah, he just did that to make himself look like a great detective, that's all. There's just one thing I can't figure out about this first heist. This first heist? Yeah, the Chill Pamon case. There was a witness on that one. A witness? Here, I saved the newspaper clipping. Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. Scott here. Haven't I seen him somewhere before? It's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but now that she mentions it. Ooh, that prosecutor! I really don't like that guy! The way he used our own evidence to do that to Mr. Delight? Yeah, I think he did it that way just because he knew it would hurt more. Got told me anyway. So who is that Java addicted master maniac anyway? Must be It's quite the enigma, huh? It is now. I never even heard of the guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's office. Came out of nowhere. That's right. He said this was his first case as a prosecutor. It's true. According to the records anyway. But no way he's an amateur. He's an Iceman in court, a maverick that gives me goosebumps. Goosebumps? You? Yeah, I knew something was off about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Oh, that's a question. I had no idea you were so unpopular. No, that's not what I meant. He has a words against me. I think he's hiding some kind of dark secret. Detective Gamsu, tell us more about Mr. Shane Bull. <laughs> Mr. Shane Bullbard. That's King Bullard. Not Shane Bullbard, pal. Oh, yeah. Well, the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body was discovered until this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick, now's our chance to get more info about the victim, so hurry up and ask. Mr. Bullard. He was the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyway? Well, the company basically sends security teams out to build and support them. Mr. Bullard must have had the chance to learn a lot of secrets to this kind of work. Oh, and? And, I don't know how to put this, the guy was kind of a money robot. Really? Me too. I just love money. I can't ever get enough. Oh, 
enough to earn his millions. Oh, so that's my problem. I need to be shiftier. Yo, already. Apparently, he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Ooh, that's pretty dirty and underhanded. Yeah. Oh, give me security. Use to head security operations against me. What? Really? Yeah, after screwing up so many times. The company's reputation when we took a nosedive. So, let's Move it! Uh, this is the life. Uh, Victor sent that chair just before he was brutally killed, you guys. Security operations or anything. This guy is all about mask to mask. It's your info on him. What? What kind of info? You can probably detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. It says it right there on the panel. Oops, no right. It's in right here. Nick, how much has I told you to read the instructions first? It's not connected to the basic body. It's used to send security up here. Really? It's possible on the matter of crime. Ooh, so when the CEO was attacked, I think they might be my press the buzzer. Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around down there. I said that the buzzer never went off that night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Baller, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves. By the way, just so you know. I think we better go and talk to that guy about this emergency buzzer. Too, pal. I'm a king of war. I have to crack my wall the light anyway. Well, it's not you so I can keep it security, right? What was it that made him quit? Nick, that's it. Maybe that's the same reason he's being blackmailed. Well, if I'm in the middle of investigating that right now. Really, something else. The security guard officer, so it doesn't feel very secure. Security guard. Uh oh, I just remembered. Larry might be. <laughs> hey, Nick, what's up? <laughs> so he is here. 
are. Oh, how's it hanging, dude? You got my sweet little Mario with you, too. Hi, Larry. Oh, I was looking my fingers to the bone. And watch it ain't, so uh, I've got no problems with the daytime day. It's all good. What we're here for, we're investigating the bullet motor case. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that's right, you're loyal, aren't you? So hopelessly clueless. Oh, it's about the motor case, boy. Have I got some good info for you? Really? What is it? Well, I know that my son is my son of Maya. The nature is a different story. But lately, I see you two old school bunnies. That was when... Dad, then this is now! So that's is good info you are talking about, Larry. Hey, I'm a god! A pro! I can't just give away information for free! What's a what? I thought professors were more, I don't know, honest? Can you talk to him, Maya? Larry, tell us already, what's the good info? Hey, I like that. This kid has some claws. Okay, you really want to know? Yes, yes! So tell me! Okay, the thing is, what the light was an employee here. It has to be some type of pro. I looked into his background. Follow me? Yes, you're a pro. I follow you. Go on! Who oh, were you ago? What the light was fired! And there was no warning at all. It just happened all of a sudden. This is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. I guess you must have done something bad to have gone fired like that. Maybe skipping out of work to go pick a pot six or something. No, that's just you. So what is it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. You know me. I get by a height, I guess. Plus, I have to keep my eyes on those monitors all the time. Monitors? No, security cameras in each room around the building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. Oh. If I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? Security teams for this company. I suppose it's the best in the business. I'm no amateur either. So if it's something small, I don't bother calling them. So in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. You were in this office when the murder took place, weren't you? Why do you say that? This is a part time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb! If it is part time and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here! Hey! Give me a break! Don't try to pin the whole thing on me! That's not fair, Nick! Huh? Take any responsibility. Anyway, the point is, you were here that night, right? <laughs> oh no, I knew something smelled bad, and it was the butts after all. Oh, it's like I always say that was then, and this is now, okay? I think I'm gonna have to break his cyclops after all. Evidence I left my business, or are you just pulling my 
about this right I've never seen it before liar you had to load this one to Mr. Light just yesterday give me a break do you expect you to remember every little thing that happens oh I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday what time was it when you found this wallet I guess it was around 1 o'clock in the morning on the first floor of our company building. 1 o'clock in the morning? That's right. In other words, Larry, at the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office. <laughs> yeah, but there's something you don't think about. What's that? I said that they get down to 10 p.m. The motor might have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? If the motor had snuck in before 10 p.m., then it wasn't my fault. It was the father guy who sipped just before mine. I have the feeling he still doesn't get the seriousness of this. Listen up, Larry. You know, beyond the shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck in to see what was on top at 10 p.m. and then was set. Larry, when you use this key card, does it leave a record? Yeah, it does. But I can't store the record to just anyone, you know. <laughs> key card data was already made public in the trial today. What? I didn't know that. You can't request for info like that. It's supposed to go through me. Why? Does that sound a bit arrogant coming from a part-time guard? Anyway, according to the data, the door to the CEO's office was open with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1 a.m. the time of the mod. No way! Yes, someone used this against the CEO's office. That happened at 1 a.m. on the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Oh... Larry, you can't duck your responsibility this time! Oh. <laughs> it. It's all my fault! It's my fault that fuck killed my fault! Hey! Hey, 
Professor God, I am! Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks, I try. You think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please. Please tell us. Okay, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. Oh, it's 
It's you, Mr. White. Miss Andrews. What's she still hanging around down here for? Uh, so, how's it going? What about the sacred on? The on? Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? Taken care of? Do you mean it's been found? Yes. It was brought in during the trial today. Wow, oh, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. White. Mr. White had nothing to do with it. It was Master Mask's wife that found it. Well, anyway, I'm I'm so relieved. I just saw all about it on the news. The detective was actually the thief all along. Looks like that way right now. It's my fault. Don't blame yourself, you're just doing your job. Hey, Nick, if she wants to apologize, you should let her. So, when was it that you hired Detective at me again? About 20 days ago. This means, Nick. It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred on is our very own Miss Andrews. to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Okay. This is the light. Can you still insist that you are Master Mass? Isn't it what I've been saying since yesterday? That was a quick response. 
tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. But listen, Mr. The Light. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? <laughs> Taking good luck, everyone. And am able to find a rival worthy of my genius. I was supposed to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. You were at the KB security at the time. Then the person who wasn't supposed to ask him this girl. It's gotta be Detective Atme. So that night, you didn't go to Lori Taylor. You went to KB security, right? Yes, I saw KB security at the time the black man said I should. Alright, what happened next? Well, I used to walk there so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked. There was no answer. So then I used the key card to unlock the door. Probably where he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's office, someone was in there. Someone? And suddenly they passed me over the head. Bam! Was it Kim Bolo that hit you? I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. When I came to you, my senses decided I saw enough to be speechless. The dead body of the CEO was right there in front of me. I thought I died myself. Anyway, I thought I should do something with the body. So that's why you put it in the safe. Yes, that's right. I used to be the chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay, and what did you do after that? Well, I got out of there for starters. I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. Nick. All of a sudden, Mrs. the light kind of sounds like the model to me. Please don't say that. Mrs. Light, is it true that one year ago? You were forced to put KB security? Uh, how did you? I'm begging you, please don't tell Desi, please! Don't worry, we haven't told anyone yet. I had been hiding it from her anyway. Desi would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. Criminal, thief, she never forgive me. I may it to be over. And, uh, why did you become a thief in the first place? Because Desi spends money like it's water. You miss the light? <laughs> That's right. I strike if I do say so myself. This is not figure out. Even Puss could see through that in a heartbeat. First, you might expect the detective that we found the disguise. This room is always the title of base protector. The detective that we found the master mass disguise? Thanks to that, I got 
chance to remake my costume. I must have been a really time consumer, huh? Yeah, it took quite a while to complete. Anyway, a few days after that, I received the first of the blackmail letters. Blackmail letters? You got them starting when? Tell me more now! Hey, calm down. Don't get so worked up. It's a blackmail letter. Is this the first one you got? No, of course not. It's just the first one that ever called me out to specific location. So did you start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, it's a few days after the two. I'm an unheist. First letter. It said, I know you did it. Did someone find out about your true identity just like that? It's not an easy being a mess with me, you know. I got proof that it was you, so give it up. I went on to say. So at the end, I had to give up the trust, so I went through all that trouble to see. Is that right? Hey, hold on a second. What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry. I put the jewel in the safe deposit box and I was going to buy. Someone sent me ten thousand dollars. Don't say anything about me being worried, you know. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. Plans? What are these plans you're talking about? There were instructions on how to steal a crown or painting with some other weird treasure. Security blind spots escape us into different training missions. You mean that the one who planned the heist wasn't you? No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that, I received plans from some very kind person who grabbed me detailed plans. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Yes, but please don't hurt me. Mr. Kane Bola, you sure that it wasn't you who killed him? Yes, of course. I could never. I'm not lying. All I did was hide his body in the safe. But then I was afraid to discover what I did, so I turned myself in yesterday. Uh, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? I guess so. You're really clever, Mr. Delight. I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his word. Mystic Maya! Hey! Polly! I'm back! Hey, boys! Where have you been up to this whole time? Stick it on, Mr. Nick. I took you back to my village to have an examined. And? And? What did you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They said it's the real on! Oh, it's a relief. I was really worried. But there's one small problem. Problem? Uh, these cute little pink splotches. They say that it's paint and that they were put on their own recently. Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We gotta find out how they got there. That's the big deal. Yes, Mr. Nick. We gotta find out how they got there! Okay, okay, we'll go find out how they got there. Please don't forget about me. Oh, Paul! How nice to see you! 
Hello there. I haven't seen you around lately. What have you been up to? Well, actually, I was having to start examines. Oh, I see. Maybe if we take another good look at this on. We can figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Nick, let's look around one more time. This box, something about it bothered me. The box that the sacred on was in. Definitely the same color as the stuff on the yard. I don't know how the pink got on it now. Alright, let's investigate again, Nick. It looks like to me like it's been right for several days. There's something suspicious about this paint on. The bottom left part of it is iron and it's socking me. Mr. Nick, could it be that this art safe is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Ah, uh, that's the box the secret owner was in. Look here, the little part of paint on the box as well. Wow, you're white. Look, it matches. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. Solving this mystery of what happened to the art. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the sacred art? Do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The one that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same. Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is the genuine article. Pauls went back to Coin Village and had it examined. Is that right? That's nice, but I don't see how. Well, what she discovered was that the urn had been broken again. Did you say again? Yes, it was broken once a year ago. And now it looks like the same thing has happened. And quite recently, too. Recently? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes. Exactly what I'm saying. Why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? Take that! This poster. It was made recently, right? Poster? Uh, the poster for the exhibit. At the time when this photo was taken, the aunt said I am on it. But now, for some mysterious reason, it says Ami. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. Ah! I am? What do even mean? I don't know anything about that. I wasn't even there when the photo for this poster was taken. That was a mistake. Now tell me the truth. Wait! For? Even if the urn was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Huh? Yes, that's it. I must have been one of the people at the photo shoot. I dropped it. I'm sure that's what happened. Hmm. Looks like she's not going to give up that last Cyclops so easily. Do you have any proof that the owner's looking here at Lordy Taylor? Take that! Well, Miss Andrews? Uh, what is this supposed to mean?